This is the Sabbath School lesson for the first quarter, 2022. Welcome to Lesson 5, Jesus, the Giver of Rest, ready for teaching on January 29. It's from the series In These Last Days, The Message of Hebrews, authored by Dr. Felix Cortez, Associate Professor of New Testament Literature in the Seventh-day Adventist Theological Seminary at Andrews University. And I'm your reader for today, Dr. Percy Harold. Tuesday, January 25. Today, if you hear his voice. Read Hebrews chapter 4, verses 4 to 8. What is the meaning of entering rest today in connection with keeping the Sabbath? Hebrews chapter 4, beginning at verse 4. For he has spoken in a certain place of the seventh day in this way. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again in this place, they shall not enter my rest. Since, therefore, it remains that some must enter in, and those to whom it was first preached did not enter because of disobedience, again he designates a certain day, saying in David, Today, after such a long time as it has been said, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, then he would not afterward have spoken of another day." The unbelief of the desert generation prevented them from entering into the rest God promised. But God kept urging his people to enter this rest and not to harden their hearts. Paul repeats several times that God's promise remains in verse 1 and verse 6, since therefore it remains, and verse 9... There remains, therefore, a rest for the people of God. He uses the Greek verbs katalipo and apolipo, emphasising that the promise of entering his, that's God's, rest still stands in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1. The fact that the invitation to enter the rest was repeated in the time of David in verses 6 and 7, uh, referring to Psalm 95, implied both that the promise had not been claimed and that it was still available. Verse 6 of Hebrews chapter 4, Since therefore it remains that some must enter in, and those to whom it was first preached did not enter because of disobedience, again he designates a certain day, saying in David, Today, after such a long time as it has been said, Today you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. In fact, Paul suggests that the experience of true Sabbath rest has been available since the time of creation, as we read in verses 3 and 4. God invites us today to enter into his rest. Today is a crucial concept throughout Scripture. When Moses renewed Israel's covenant with God at the border of the Promised Land, he emphasized the importance of today. And we read that in Deuteronomy 5, verse 3, The Lord did not make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, those who are here today, all of us who are alive. And we'll compare that with Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 8. And what great nation is there that has such statutes and righteous judgments as are in all this law which I set before you this day. And Deuteronomy 6 verse 6, and these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. And there are lots of others we could find in the scriptures. It was a moment of reflection to recognize God's faithfulness, as we read in Deuteronomy 11 verses 2 to 7. Know today that I do not speak with your children who have not known and who have not seen the chastening of the Lord your God, his greatness and his mighty hand and his outstretched arm, his signs and his acts which he did in the midst of Egypt to Pharaoh king of Egypt and to all his land, what he did to the army of Egypt, to their horses and their chariots, how he made the waters of the Red Sea overflow them as they pursued you and how the Lord has destroyed them to this day." what he did for you in the wilderness until you came to this place, and what he did to Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, their households, their tents, and all the substance that was in their possession in the midst of all Israel. But your eyes have seen every great act of the Lord, which he did. 
and a time of decision to obey the Lord, Deuteronomy 5, verses 1 to 3. And Moses called all Israel and said to them, Hear, O Lord, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your hearing today, that you may learn them and be careful to observe them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. The Lord did not make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, those who are here today, all of us who are alive. Similarly, Joshua called on the people of his time to choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, Joshua 24 verse 15. In the same way, today is a time of decision for us, a time of opportunity as well as danger, as it has always been for God's people, as we read in 2 Corinthians 6, 2. For he says, In an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Today appears five times in Hebrews chapter 3 and chapter 4. It emphasizes the importance of listening to God's voice. As we read in Hebrews 3 verse 7, Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you will hear his voice. And verse 15, While it is said, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. And Hebrews chapter 4, verse 7, again he designates a certain day, saying in David, Today, after such a long time as it has been said, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Because failing to listen and believe God's word leads to disobedience and the hardening of our hearts. It could even delay our entrance into the heavenly Canaan, just as it kept the wilderness generation from entering the earthly Canaan. But Jesus has defeated our enemies, as we read in Hebrews 2, 14-16, and inaugurated a new covenant in Hebrews chapters 8, 9 and 10. Let's read Hebrews 2, verses 14-16. to 16. Inasmuch then, as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is, the devil, and release those who, through fear of death, were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For indeed, he does not give aid to angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham." Thus we can come boldly to the throne of grace, as we read in Hebrews 4, verses 14 to 16, seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin." Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The appeal today invites us to recognize that God has been faithful to us and has provided us with every reason to accept his invitation right away, without delay. And so to finish today... What spiritual decisions must you make today, that is, not put off for another time? What have been your past experiences when you have delayed doing what you knew God would have you do right away? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind, and it is written. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. Remember, God is always faithful.